these political prisoners, 80, according to one estimate, um, and, and making life miserable for them, uh, that's a sign of weakness, not a sign of strength. Yeah, you may have the power to do it, and the police and the apparatus to do it, but it is a sign of weakness on the part of the individual. This is a, uh, the first of a series of hearings um, that the commission will engage in. Uh, we will be bringing this up at the parliamentary assembly, particularly with our interlocutors from, from Azerbaijan. I also have this Azerbaijan Democracy Act, the purpose of which is to promote and encourage reform. Uh, free the prisoners. Let the good people who just want to tell the truth. Uh, investigative journalism is a very important part of a healthy society. Um, let it flourish. Don't throw the journalists into prison. So we're going we're gonna to just keep the pressure on. In 2015, Azerbaijan jailed eight journalists. Today we are focused on Hadiji's case, but there are dozens of other political prisoners, including journalists, sitting in jail in, in a jail cell in Azerbaijan. Judicial processes against political prisoners are often farcical. In Hadiji's case, the prosecutors charged her initially with, quote, incitement to suicide. Their case completely collapsed when their witness retracted. Here is the persecution of Hadija is a clear example of the backtracking of Azerbaijan, something that we cannot uh, allow to uh, continue. The closure of Radio Free Europe and Radio Liberty. Uh, what, what is this clearly happening is Azerbaijan is trying to cut off information. Our aim is to encourage more investigative journalism and to ensure that the implementation is done today. With the te this testimony, I will proud and proudly join International Peer for the Just Immediate Service. The Baku Bureau of Re Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty, was forcibly closed down after the police raid last December. The independent newspaper, Zerkalo, was financially strangled and closed down earlier this year. The main opposition newspaper, Azadlik, is on the verge <coughs> of collapse due to astronomical fines. So after successfully suppressing media pluralism at home, the Azerbaijani authorities have waged a war against foreign-based independent media, created by Ismailova. As Nenat explained it to us earlier, she is a leading investigative reporter, and her arrest was a political case from the outset bravery and the incredible optimism that Hadija brings to this group and that she has shown during her trial and imprisonment that have played a big part in keeping the activists motivated and Kumar mentioned that in his testimony because in fact the evidence didn't support the charges at all but it was because the whole trial was being held to fit the government's desired conclusion a guilty verdict and the court was now nearly the stage on which to act it out in reality, Khadija had already started serving her sentence on the day of her arrest. The only thing she did not know was how much longer that she would be in jail. We have no idea about any single fact that was presented in the wrong way. Nobody has ever said anything about this. For it all, we wanted to find out, okay, what are the wrong things that are here? All this was done.